We tried out some RCD Espanol de Barcelona hospitality and here's how we got on. We arrived at the RCDE Stadium a few hours before kickoff and had a quick look at the stadium map, then made our way into the club shop. Really hot day in Barcelona, so we got some respite from the sun in the club shop and a bit more on the home shirt later on. Back outside and there are a few different drinks and food stations inside the fan zone, so I grabbed myself a beer and watched some of the live music. And the home fans really seem to enjoy this song. All danced out, we made our way to gate 17 where we scanned our e-ticket and made our way through onto the blue carpet. Staff were then on hand to give us a hospitality wristband. Inside the stadium, there was a statue and a lot of memorabilia dedicated to Danny Harke, who was an RCDE legend. Hospitality guests are then given a tour of the stadium. So we made our way down a few steps, taking in the beautiful view. We were then given access to the side of the pitch and this bit was pretty amazing. Unfortunately, not gonna get into the squad with skills like this. Back inside and we were also given the chance to have a look around the press room. Then after fielding zero questions, we made our way into the club museum to have a look at some more memorabilia and quite a few trophies, as well as this iconic vest. Once we had finished with the tour, it was then off to the experiential box, which is located on the halfway line. A member of staff was on hand to welcome us into the lounge and fortunately, we were the first people inside. All guests do receive a gift and a bit more on this later on. And after all the walking around, we were quite thirsty and there is unlimited drinks from the open bar, so we chose this elite level drink. At half time, hot and cold food plates are brought out into the lounge and it's a case of helping yourself. And if I'm being completely honest, I didn't know what a few of the dishes were, but it didn't stop me giving them a try. Something that I did know was that these were hamburgers and they were pretty good. And fortunately, if you're not a fan of the hot food, there is a good selection of cheeses as well as cured meats and other snacks. If you do have a sweet tooth or you're just a bit hungry later on, there are chocolates, sweets and cakes as well. Or if you're a bit healthier, you can grab yourself some fruit. Not quite time for the match, but it's a good idea to reserve your seats with your drink as the best ones do go quickly. And if you fancy a different atmosphere, you also have access to the Salah Executive Club, which is on the same level as the experiential box. Quite a few more people in this really spacious lounge, and I was a fan of this central room, which almost looks like a football. And as mentioned, this room does hold a lot more people, and at half time and full time, it does get very busy when the food is brought out. Back in the experiential box, and me and Joanne Capdevilla decided we were gonna play in the second half. Later on, we opened up our gift, which all guests do receive, which was an RCDE scarf. Then it was outside and onto the balcony, where I decided to sit in a different padded seat for the start of the match. Tickets for the experiential box are from 300 euros per person. A big thank you to RCD Espanol for your fantastic hospitality and for inviting us out to try the experiential box. Where should we go for the next padded seat?